Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Udio.com and I'm going to show you how to create your own AI music, AI songs. And we can create full songs. And here's the thing, the songs are good. <laughs> These are really, really good songs. I'll show you a couple examples. I'll show you how to create them from scratch. I'm going to show you how to download the video and the audio, depending on what you're looking for. And we'll look at how to extend songs, how to um, remix them, do all of those fun things. And uh, yeah, we'll even talk about the licensing. So yeah, basically in a nutshell, Udio is a serious competitor to Suno AI V3. It may even be a little bit better. And we're going to start creating our own AI music and using it right now. Follow along with me. Let's go. All right. So to get into Udio, you got to go to Udio.com. Link will be in the description below. Click on sign in like I'm going to do here. I'm going to sign in with Google because I've already set up an account and they are free. All right. Now we can go ahead and make our music. Now, I'm going to give you a quick tour around here, but very quickly, in order to create music, you literally can just go right here to this prompt bar up at the top and type in exactly what you want. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste in what I want. I want a song about a French bulldog that just sends it. This dog totally gives her, he sends it every time. All right, good stuff. So that's basically the gist of the song. Now I can add in some tags as to what type of music I want. So do I want indie rock? Do I want jazz, electronic, experimental? And I'm just sort of going through these here. Now these are pre-built, so I can go ahead and select any one of these, heavy metal, for example, pop metal, and maybe I want, and then you'll see here they start changing as I, as I start adding them. But if I want to add in glam, whatever the heck that is, I don't even know. I'm just adding these in very simple by clicking on them. And then if I want to go a little bit further and create, you know, my own sound, I can always type in whatever I want. So if I want electronic, um, bass, oops, bass drop, whatever, something like that. I can just go ahead and do that. Now, there we go. That's how we start it. Now, before I click on create, there's three different styles that you can create. Here. I'm going to show them to you. There's custom. Now, this one, if I click on it, you can add in your own lyrics. If you've written a poem or if you've written a song or something like that, go ahead, add them in. You can do an instrumental if you do not want any lyrics. And then auto-generated, which is my favorite, they'll create lyrics for you. It's pretty wild. I'm going to click on create and then watch this. You're going to see here that it's creating my tracks. I get six of 600 daily priority generations and six of 600 monthly generations. That's a lot. So while it's creating that, now let me show you around the, you know, the user interface and show you the few things you can do with it. All right, so I'm clicking on Discover here. I'm in the Discover tab, and then down here, you're going to see a few of the staff's favorite picks. Now, let's listen to how good this is. So let's just go with this one, Udio, Let the Groove Be or something. Listen. Guess we need some kind of introduction. Oh, yeah. All right. Here, one, two, three. Hit it. Yeah. You see that? Like it added in all its own lyrics, that cool beat to the beginning there. Let's click on one more here. I'll show you Neon Sax Dreams. I bet this one's good too. All right, so this one is only 32 seconds long. So sometimes it creates a snippet. So it'll create a 32, 33 second piece. And then you got to remix them and extend them, which I'm about to show you. So there are some of the staff picks and here is some of the trending stuff. So if you want to get some inspiration or if you want to just see what other people are doing, you can click on them and listen to them. Pretty wild stuff. And here it is all categorized by different types of genres. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead now and click on my creations. And now you're going to see here that my stuff is ready. So let's go ahead and click on this and see what we got. Fur-coated adrenaline. That sounds pretty damn good. I like it. Let's listen to Unleashed Fury. Yes. In fact, let's go ahead and click on the name here or the title. And this will actually bring us into another screen that shows us a little bit more. So it'll show you what the prompt we used, what the name of the song is. And here's the best part. The lyrics. This is the tale I bark for you. A Frenchie charging through sky so blue. Okay, I like it already. Let's click and listen. This is the tale I bark for you. Yeah. All right. No holding back. He's flying from this. Leaping high. Yeah. He reigns in thunder. All right. 
right, so if you think about what you just heard and then you look at the prompt, this is a French Bulldog that just sends it. He gives her, man. He sends it every time. Heavy metal, pop metal, glam, electronic. That has done an amazing job. Very, very accurate. I like it. So here's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to click on publish and I'm going to publish it to my page. So basically you can see here that this is, I basically said, hey, this is my song, right? So there you go. I've gone ahead and published it, but you can do more. If I go ahead and hover over here, you're going to see a few different options. I can add this to a playlist. So if I wanted to create a new playlist, I would call, I don't know, something like Bulldog Playlist. Nice and something simple like that. Here's another option. We can go ahead and I believe this is the share. So if you like what you created, Share it on all these different social medias or copy the link and just do it manually. But here's the best part. Click on the download button. Look at this. Download the audio. So if we just want the MP3 or download the video. Let's download a video and see what we got. All right. It's being generated. So I might have to come back and do that in a few seconds. But there you go. We've gone ahead and created our song. It's 33 seconds long. That's not long enough, though, because that's just kind of like a snippet. So let's go ahead and dig in and do a little more. All right, so the next step here is we can remix it or extend it. So if you like it and you want more of it, we're going to go ahead and extend it. If you want to remix it and change it up, of course, click on remix. And this one, I'm going to remix it just to show you how this works here. So here we go. I just clicked on the remix button and then the variance and the difference is kind of where you want to look here. So if we want our if we want the remix to be very similar to what we got here, but with maybe with some subtle changes, I would turn this down quite a bit. If you want it very different, you can just adjust the knob up. So you can just vary this as you see fit. And because it's in beta and it's free, hey, go nuts. So use it as much as you want. So there you go. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now, if I wanted to move forward, I could add or subtract to the prompt. So if I wanted to get rid of pop metal because that makes it sound a little weird, for example, I would just delete it. If I want to add in progressive metal, whatever that is, I just click on that and add it. Similarly, I can go ahead and type in something that I want as well. So do keep that in mind. You have complete, uh, you know, just complete functionality to do whatever you want with this. I'm going to go ahead and click on remix. Now it's going to go ahead and say, hey, it's creating our track and it has got an error because I'm already creating two things and that's the maximum you can create. It. Oh, actually, I'm creating four things. So I've kind of hit the maximum number of uh, things that I can do. So that's how you remix it. If you want to create a longer full song, watch this. I'm going to click on extend here. And now this is really cool because now I can add an intro. So you can add a section. You can add a section before the piece that you've got here. So I've got 33 seconds of a song, right? Basically, and it's a verse. But if I want to add, you know, something at the beginning, I would click on add intro and I would just let it do auto generated like I did the first one. So if I had my own lyrics, I would type them in here, but I don't. So I'm going to auto generate an intro or alternatively, I can auto generate a section. So I click on that or I could add in an outro. And then by doing this and then again, you can totally change the prompt and do all of these things here. You can very quickly add in different parts and extend your song. So for this one, I'm going to add, let's do an intro, right? Maybe some sort of guitar intro. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'll click on auto generated. Maybe I'll make this one an instrumental because the beginning of the song is just someone hammering away on their guitar and the drums or whatever. And then I'll just click on extend. Now it won't work here because I believe I'm using up all of my generations, but it's being pretty lenient here. So you'll see here, I've got all of these things going and I've got all these finished songs. So this is literally all there is to it. Remember guys, you can always go in and you know look at other people's music. You can download your songs, download videos, extend, remix. It's all here. It's all free. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.